Hello, this is Uncle Jim, and this video is how to fix your salamander heater if it's acting up. In this case, uh, we got smoke and then poof and some flame, but it never uh, fully started up. And I did a video on this a few years ago, and it happened again. So uh, this is what's going on. Now, this is a diesel, but it doesn't matter, you know, what you're using, if you're using uh, kerosene. kerosene or what. We prefer diesel because diesel goes in the tractor. We have snow coming, and we chained up everything and maintenanced everything, so we're ready for snow. And at the last minute, Dad wanted to make sure that the salamander heater worked. After sitting for a year with old diesel in there, and all it did was poof, smoke, flame, poof, smoke, and it never uh, started up fully. And it's a super easy fix. I showed you that a couple years ago. So we've had this one about six years. We got it at Tractor Supply. It's a Dynaglow 18,000 BTU salamander heater. And it's been awesome, except for one problem. And that's the uh, fuel line. Okay, so we just pulled this one off. And it's cracked on both ends and leaking. Okay, and that was super easy fix. So uh, this time we're going to try some chainsaw line. Didn't have a clamp, so we just zip tied it, but it's tight. What's this called? Uh, Tygon. All right, this is called Tygon for your chainsaws. It sounds like a laundry product if you remember the 70s and 80s. Tygon for your laundry. <laughs> anyway, we've put a fuel line on here, and this happened uh, a few years ago, and all I had to do is uh, uh, fix the crack fuel line there. So uh, this actually works great. It has a gauge. It's got a uh, Venturi here so you can adjust it, which I never had to mess with. All you gotta do is hit the button, it turns on. You can adjust your uh, temperature here. And we use it to uh, heat up our machinery here when it's super cold in the garage. You know, if it's really really cold, I just point it at the engine, let it run. Then I'll go suit up, get ready for plowing. When I come back, the engine's warm and we do it to all of these. And it's been great, it was very inexpensive. But there is a drawback, at least here, everything rubber here cracks because it's so dry. And so it was the fuel line again. So after two years, and this has been sitting a full year. We had to replace the gas line because it's split. Now, let's see if it runs. Easy fix. I did it a couple years ago. And it still looks great. It still works great. I'm very impressed with this heater. It'll, it'll heat up our huge garage. Uh, but mainly I use it for uh, warming up the equipment before uh, plowing. All right, so let's put the cover back on and see if it works. And I darn near guarantee you from the Uncle Jim test facility that it's going to work again. All right. Let's start it up stone cold, not primed, and let's see what happens. I guarantee you it's going to work. Okay, button on. Uh-oh, oh, no smoke. And there you go. Easy fix.
All right, so there you go. All it was was a cracked fuel line on the intake. The stock other one still is holding up perfectly. And we treat this like a redheaded stepchild. It gets the old diesel, it gets the crap fuel, and it keeps on ticking. So I'm very impressed with that. And all you got to do is maintenance your fuel line and good to go. Hopefully we'll get a few more years out of that with this new fuel line and we'll see. But if you start her up and it poofs and doesn't light up and tries to light and then just kind of stops, that's your problem. Easy. Until next time, we are ready. Bring it. I better knock on wood when I say that. All right. Until next time.